Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to take a very quick break from our uh, our stuff that we were doing up there. Uh, we had our there we go. We had our squeezer. Sorry, I think it's a squeezer. Yeah, um, whatever the juicer and the fermenter is. Uh, I hadn't had the fermenter built last time, but I did that off camera. Very similar setup to this one. As you can see, we're growing some. Uh, sugar and some melon seeds here. Everything's all banked up though. Uh, I will get back to that probably the episode after this one. One of the things I've been wanting to do though is get this blood magic altar up to tier 4. Now I've managed to get through tier 2 and 3 making these blood runes on the side. It's been pretty slow and tedious going with this sacrificial orb. As you can see there we've got uh, yeah 1070 in there. Make sure I don't kill myself there, yeah, 2,470. It's a slow going process to get that there. Uh, made a bunch of those and have made these into the ritual stones. Uh, they are slightly different from the blood runes. Uh, you make these ritual stones in this pattern. Some are sunk into the ground. Uh, these double ones are above ground. And there is this master ritual stone in the middle. You do need the tier three uh, blood orb for that, the magician's blood orb to make that uh, I ended up having to bring down a bunch of soul vials with villagers and uh, kill the villagers as the orb was creating because the orb takes uh, 25,000 LP uh, and yet this altar only holds 10,000. So you've got to be sacrificing. Uh, I found villagers was the easiest and there doesn't seem to be any negative effects to it. So we've done that. But the next step out on tier four for this altar, we're going to need these things called um, blood shards or blood shard blocks on the top of here. Now to get blood shards, you need a bound sword. To do a bound sword, you need to do the ritual of binding. The ritual of binding needs this structure here, plus some of these other runes on top. So I'll, uh, we'll try this with the fire one first. So I've never, never done this before. So as per usual, I'm doing something live on camera. <laughs> without actually testing it or doing anything beforehand. Cool. So now we have this uh, inscription tool. Now the inscription tool goes on for fire anyway, goes on this one, this one, this one, and this one. So that's fire. Now we've got to do the others. So we've got all four elements here. How much have we got in there? 2,800. Excellent. So that's enough for that. So we're going to make the rest of these. It says fire, water, air, and earth. There's that one. Uh, yep, there's still enough there. Let's put some more in. Now we need empty hand. So this is the earth one. So there we go with that one. And we've just got the water one left to go. Make sure we've got a thousand in there. Yes, we do. Excellent. So fire is there. Uh, now, what was the rest of it? So we have fire. I think water is on these ones. Air is there and earth is there. So we've got fire. Uh, is this the water one? Water, yep. So we go water there, water there, water there, and water there. And then we have air on these ones. And earth on those ones. And now we can do the ritual of binding. Now to do the bound sword, oops, uh, this one here, we need the bound blade, sorry. The bound blade does the bind, is the binding ritual with the sword of the Zephyr. Now sword of the Zephyr, we're going to need a bunch of stuff in the infusion table with a thormium sword, a couple of bits of thormium, uh, negligible stuff in the infusion altar, great wood log, a couple of air shards and a diamond, some uh, aspects. So. I've done this on camera a couple of times now, so this time I'm not going to do it on camera. I will run away and make ourselves a Sword of the Zephyr, and then we will be back and hopefully do this uh, binding ritual to get the bound blade. And then from there, we'll look at what we need to do to use it uh, to start getting these, these blood shards that we need for tier four. So see you in just a moment once I've got a Sword of Zephyr. 
Okay, ta-da, we are back. We have our Sword of the Zephyr, all nicely made in our Infusion Altar. Now for the next part. Now the next part involves us doing a, a weak activation crystal on this thing, uh, throwing the Sword of the Zephyr in the middle, making sure we have 5,000 LP in our network, which if we click this in the air, 5,800, cool. I mean, I can click that a couple more times, and now we've got 6,800, awesome. Plenty for that. The problem is going to be the weak activation crystal. So the weak activation crystal is this thing. 10,000 LP in the blood altar, tier 3. Cool. We've got tier 3 already. We can get 10,000 in there. Not a problem. Uh, we just need to make this lava crystal. Okay. Lava crystal. Lava buckets. Easy. Yep. Sure. Obsidian. Not a problem. Don't think it has to be colored. Uh, mana diamond. Not a problem. Watered glass. Not entirely sure how to make that, but we'll figure that out. That's Thorncraft. Uh, empty core. Yeah, mana glass, cool. Mana steel, cool. Gold, cool. Civil catalyst. Again, pretty easy. 200 LP. We do need the alchemic chemistry set, though. Uh, alchemic chemistry set is uh, that thing. Tier 1, 2500 with a normal brewing stand. Again, easy, easy, easy. Just a bit of a process to go through, uh, which means the only thing that we're not sure on is watered glass. So watered glass does has no recipe. Now being Thorncraft, however, we should have something in here potentially to do with watered glass. So I'm not entirely sure where this is in here. So I'm gonna have to go for a bit of a yeah a bit of a hunt for some of the stuff artificing maybe and we have paving stones of warding no glass in there though all right so i'm gonna have to go away and do a bunch of stuff to figure out where watered glass is we may need to do some more research uh, i will go away anyway and uh, make the water glass make our weak activation crystal because i don't really want this episode to be about uh, figuring out Thorncraft stuff. I really want to get to the Bound Blade and getting the activation crystals uh, so that we can do that. But I will certainly let you know as soon as I'm back uh, how to make that watered glass and hopefully we'll have that, uh, that lava crystal to drop in the altar uh, to make the weak activation crystal. So once again, see you in a moment. Hokey dokey, we have our lava crystal ready to throw in here, ready to make our weak activation crystal. Uh, before that, I did say that we'd let you know how the watered glass is made. Uh, it's with this watered arcana, 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 uh, a bit of research in the Thormonomicon under artificing. Uh, and in here, you'll see along towards the end, uh, some watered glass. Uh, pretty easy, mana glass, great with planks, zombie rains, all pretty easy. The magic cales. Magicales, Magicales, depending on whether you're putting on your Spanish accent or not, uh, and Crystalos, both uh, very easily made in the alchemical um, chemistry set, which is this thing here, um, which we use to make a few of the a few of the items as well. Might just steal my blood all back out of there. So the other thing we've got is I have got my ten thousand LP in the tier three altar. Uh, which, as this says, is what we need to make the activation crystal. I may... Actually, let's just set that going. Uh, while this is running, you'll notice it's counting down rather rapidly. I'm going to put a bit extra in there, just in case. This shouldn't take very long at all. It looks like it's counting down really quickly. And... Be just about done. Ta-da! Awesome. We now have a weak activation crystal. Now, what we're supposed to be able to do with this is we're supposed to be able to click it in here somehow, throw the sword of the zephyr down, make sure we have, uh, make sure we have how much? Five thousand LP. Awesome. Uh, that's what we need. Uh, so let's just get a bit more. Six thousand four hundred seems seems awesome. So all we got to do is click on that. You feel a fool, but you're too weak to push any further. Maybe I need full health for this. Maybe I need that to be on there to begin with. Uh, 6400, sure. Alright, so maybe we do need full health for this. Let's... Hmm, okay. 
just try that again. You're too weak. All right, so it looks like I'm going to need full health for this. I'm guessing that's what the full, uh, the too weak message is. We're so close. I'm always torn with this sort of situation, whether I cut the video or not, because it's such a short amount of time to wait. Yet it's still fairly boring for you guys. Do a couple of laps of the circle. <laughs> Okay, full health. There we go. We've got extra health as well that's going to build up, but this should be doable. You feel a pull, but you're too weak to push any further. Hmm. Well, that... Maybe up to 700. Maybe I do need more in there. I can't click it in the air. All right, so once again, I'm... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Holy moly. Stuff's happening. Look at that. Bound blade. Far out. That was... That was relatively crazy and awesome. Okay, so I'm not even sure how this uh, blade is supposed to work. Like if I'm going around holding it, that's interesting. It looks like a 2400. Hmm. So how do I activate it? I wonder, there must be a key for it somewhere. See, this is where it's going to be interesting. So what have we got set in here? Draconic evolution, end detect, gameplay. Uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at blood magic. Miscellaneous? No, movement, no, definitely not movement, rail cart, jet packs, thormic tools, and then whaler. All right, I have no idea what that is going to be, but we're going to go and find some stuff to kill with this. What I'm going to do first, though, is we're going to put some of the stuff back. And what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to do my first couple of kills off camera just so that I know because I know it's just going to be pretty boring for you guys otherwise me trying to figure this stuff out uh, as it is starting to get to that more difficult end of the spectrum and I'm not entirely sure I mean this bound blade is supposed to be activated somehow oops that's not the right key that's not the right key if no uh, that's not the right key either. All right, so yeah, really, really not entirely sure what this is gonna, I don't really wanna kill one of those guys either. So have we got any mobs around? Yeah, there's some pigs out this way. Come here, piggies. There's one. Yep, so definitely not activated. Okay, I'm going to go away for two seconds and do a tiny bit of research on how to activate this bound blade. Uh, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so it turns out that activating this thing is really easy. You just shift right click and it's on, shift right click and it's off. So let's turn it on, kill a mob. Oh, and look at that. First pop, weak blood shard. Excellent stuff. So now what we're going to need to do is make a... Uh, what's it called? It's called a blood uh, brick I think no bloodstone so there we need these bloodstone bricks which are made from large bloodstone bricks and they are made with oh, some ritual stones yep so they've made that a bit harder as well so we're gonna need four more ritual stones around uh, with a weak blood shard and we'll get eight of the large bloodstone bricks out of it that's pretty good so I wouldn't mind getting another weak blood shard um, I'm gonna need to do a bunch of stuff as well for the um, for the rest of the altar as you can see i've done some of the blood runes around the edge uh, but i do have another one two three four five six like another 12 of them to go which is going to take quite a while uh making all the things in here that we need but for now that is pretty much what we wanted to do we've got weak blood shards coming out we can easily get some more by slaying hostile mobs i know they're not a hundred percent drop chance uh but as you saw there i mean i just killed one skeleton and we got one so pretty easy stuff um, so once we put those around, I can put, what is it, one, two, three, four glass bricks and then the large uh, bloodstone brick on the top of each of those. 
and we should have our tier 4 altar. Fantastic. Uh, and then I've got some plans for the tier 4 altar. There's actually something uh, that I wanted to make with it, uh, which should help us um, get ahead in a few of the other things we want to do as well. Uh, but we'll get to that in another episode. But anyway, that's all for today. That's a pretty good effort getting the Bound Blade. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.